Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AF Gateway Net. Today we are back with our Light Bearer team. So let's go ahead and run through the team. We're in 25-23, so we're already a quarter of the way into chapter 25. So Light Bearer team is still leading all of the faction accounts at this point. We do have our other faction account, which is actually right here, the team Graveborn. Um, as you've seen in the last video, they are just behind the Light Bearer team. The Maulers and the Wilders are not even into chapter 25 at this point. But looking overall at the Light Bearer team, it is our strongest team. We have seven Ascended Heroes with adding Estrilda last time. We do have Gwen, which is already at plus 20, Estrilda at plus 15, as well as five fully Ascended Heroes. And two of the five are already at plus 30 signature items. And Lucius is at plus 28, so he is very close to having a plus 30 signature item as well. Then we are going to focus on the heroes that we do get next. So let's go ahead and get into our summons. We do have quite a few rare stones here, as you can see. A lot more fodder coming out of there. So actually, let's go to the Temple of Ascension first. So we'll go ahead, looks like we got Rose up, another copy, which is good. So here we'll just use these two quick copies, one copy of Rose, because we adding more stars to her, so taking her to two stars. Shamira adding on to her, taking her to one star. That way we have room when we do the summons. So we do have 200 companion points. We have 20 scrolls and 12,000 gems in total. We'll get these out of the way really quick and then we'll take a look at our wish list. Because as the wish list has kind of changed and altered depending on the heroes that we've been pulling. A copy of Saurus, very nice. We need Saurus. Um, I have chosen to use him on the faction accounts just because he does an absolute insane amount of damage for the guild bosses. That way we can get more guild coin and we can get more gold, possibly more diamonds out of the out of the bosses. So looking at our wish list here, we did add Anoki in there. So Light Bears, we have Lucius, Estrilda, we have Cecilia, we have Gwen and Rowan. We've continued, like I said, we already have Belinda and we do have uh, Falks, who is already at five stars. So pretty soon, I feel like once we start accumulating more heroes and getting more five stars, we are going to have to either swap in other heroes or swap in fodder because we are going to have pretty much everyone that we need out of the Lightbearer faction. So 20 regular scrolls here, hoping we can get some elites. And there's our first one, which is a copy of Kasos. Ever since his rework, his ultimate ability does a ton of damage, but I feel like his survivability is not where it needs to be. Um, he does die very, very easy, sort of a glass cannon like a Khazard. If heroes do get to him, he does go down relatively quickly, and that gives us a elite plus copy of Saurus, which is exactly what we wanted, as well as some other heroes. So we got a couple more summons here. We are probably going to get, yep, we'll get a one card so we'll be able to pull light bear there and another elite a copy of namora she's a hero that i feel like a, a rework is coming and lilith even made a little short cartoon on the um, facebook page and no other elites about her not being able to heal just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting to heal so it's kind of funny if you check it out on the afk arena facebook page we get a copy of thane He's a hero that does very, very well in PvP and pretty situational. I know a couple people have built him, said he's pretty good. And on this account, I am going to build him eventually, um, depending on the copies we get, because I have never seen him. I've never seen him personally being built and how well he does perform. And that's what the faction accounts are kind of about. It's about seeing heroes that we have never seen before or never used before. So we'll go ahead and we will build him if we do have copies. Resonating Crystal, we are at 253 already. So as we continue to level up, 254. Should be able to go to 255. So just adding a ton of power for every single level and every single sub-level that we're adding here. So you can see we're almost at 700 million um, experience. I believe we're going to be just waiting for Hero Essence, but look at that, 258. So we're definitely making a ton of progress, taking our team power up to 13 million, as you can see there in the top. So let's go ahead and look at our Ascensions here. So we do get Nomura, we do get Thane. 
So I'm thinking at this point, I know we do have Legendary plus Thane. So I'm thinking maybe we will build Thane, but we are gonna need more food. So we're gonna keep him at Legendary plus right now, um, just because we use all of our food for Estrilda to get her up to Ascended. But Thane is at Legendary plus, and when you're going through an Ascended Heroes, if you don't have more copies such as Thane, I could take him to Mythic, I could take him to Mythic Plus, but he'll sit there. So a majority of the heroes, if you're not utilizing them right now, leaving them at Legendary Plus is okay. Once I pull two Elite Plus copies of Thane, I can actually just take him all the way up with Fodder. Because in this point, if I do get more copies of Cecilia, I will build Cecilia before I build Thane. That's why I don't want to go and invest the food into Thane, especially if I don't have enough copies to make him into an Ascended Hero. So on the Mauler account, and the Mauler accounts, same rings true with them. Um, I, I do take a couple heroes like Kasos past Legendary Plus, just for the fact, even though I didn't have enough copies, or I, I actually do now have enough copies, um, just because they're heroes that I have to get up and I have to get up a little bit higher to go ahead and push the faction towers. If not, they're actually just going to sit there because I won't have anything for progression in the faction towers. And we already do have food in the bottom here. So Kasos, we will go ahead and use our copy of Golas in the bottom. And then we will get Kasos to Ascended. Because like I said, even though he is very, very weak with the survivability, he does a ton of damage which is gonna help. We have Ascended Scrag and we have Ascended Kasos on this team. So looking at the Wilders, we are definitely going to go 100% for Saurus. If you have not used Saurus or do not use Saurus, when it comes to Twisted Essence bosses, when it comes to Guild bosses, even being in lower levels, he does absolutely phenomenal and does an insane amount of damage. So we are focused on Tassie and Laika as well, which Tassie, we have a copy there. Laika, we actually have double copies. Lorazin, we have double copies. Namora, we have copies. So we have a lot of copies for this as well. Um, I do want to save some food for Saurus because the signature item is very, very powerful. So at this point, we are just going to hold tight with the account. Iran, we do need, I believe, one more copy. So the Wilder team on this account is going to be very, very strong as well because we do have a lot of copies of heroes. We have double copies of Tassie, double copies of Laika. Just need Wilder food, and we can go ahead and ascend a lot of the heroes that we have here. Graveborn, focusing on Pharrell. As you can see, I have one, two, three copies of Pharrell. Again, just need food on this account um, to go ahead and move him to Ascended. We do have a little bit different team comp because we went with Baden um, as a tank with Thorin. So instead of using Grez and Thorin, we're using Baden and Thorin. Um, Torn, I do want to build as well on this account, which will just be in time, as well as taking Pharrell up to Ascended. We are still stargazing for Taylene on these accounts. So as we get Taylene built, we will utilize her as we get further into the chapter, just kind of as an option. And of course, the Hypogens, we don't really have any of them right now to really talk about. So let's look at the heroes themselves. So strengthening the gear, we have nothing to strengthen the gear, but we do have some more uh, amplifying emblems. Um, for Estrilda. So she is actually getting her signature item up a little bit higher. There's plus 17, there's plus 18. So already at plus 18, meaning that we have almost seven heroes that are at plus 20 signature item or better, which is kind of crazy. So as we push the campaign, let's get into 25-23. So looking into the campaign stage, we are gonna go with the regular build, which is of course the Rose Belinda combo using Lucius as our primary tank, Rowan as our support, as well as Falks for our CC. This has been kind of a almost flawless combination that they've used i know in white sushi's guide this does fall into the b tier but it is very very powerful which i'm thinking though as we do progression as we move into 26 27 even pushing chapter 30 we are going to have to make some adjustments in this team and i think that's the point of even on my main account switching belinda out for gwen so 25-44 this is our next boss stage, which again, dealing with Arden in this, 
not only the Arden Tassie combo is very, very strong because Arden has a shield, Tassie has a banish, Pharrell has his terrorize or his fear, and Namora has her um her control as well. So just a massive, massive amount of CC in this team comp that we're fighting here. And of course, as many of you know, Movis has an AoE that does a absolute insane amount of damage. So we got the boss stage down. Let's go ahead and look at the damage. 11.5 million there from Belinda. So still pulling a majority of the damage for the team. 25-28, just focusing on the boss stages at this one. So we went ahead and we swapped Rose and Belinda to the, to the top. We do have Lucius in the bottom, which had Thane, which had Brutus, which had Savius. Very, very tough combination, but look at the absolute perfect formation that we had in the bottom. Brutus popped his shield as soon as we did Falk's alt, allowing us to get down the next boss stage as Savius goes down. Damage on this one going to be pretty similar. A little over 10 million there from Belinda, so she is definitely the main carry at this point. Looking at 25-32, our next boss stage. Again, we swap Belinda and Rose to the bottom because we want them to kill Aziz in the bottom. If he has the ability to go ahead and negate his our ultimate abilities, this team is absolutely shut down with Belinda's ultimate ability because that is her burst damage overall. And again, perfectly stacked in the top, which Tassie teleported, making it very, very difficult. And that's why so many people love Tassie is she'll go ahead and be taking some damage, teleport somewhere else, take a little bit more damage, teleport somewhere else, and it's very hard to track her down. But we are down to, look at that, the double alt, which is Belinda is known for, the Belinda Rose double alt. Even there, 13.8 million damage, so almost 14 million damage on that stage. 25-36, again, saying with exactly the same team comp. And it seems like also at this level, it's really dependent on the level of the heroes themselves we're seeing the big carry there as they continue to get stronger and stronger even one nuke there from belinda morella can't even can't even deal with the damage she just absolutely went down pharrell got a stun and he is down to get the next boss stage down which was 25 i think 25 36 9 million damage there but look at that 3 million from folks 3 million from Rose, bringing us to 2540. We swapped in Gwen and Estrilda. So this is a super, super tough combination with Estrilda's rework does an insane amount of damage as long as you can keep Estrilda up. And that's kind of the, the big thing here. We did leave Belinda in for her damage, but the amount of damage that Gwen puts out with the continuous damage, Belinda with the burst damage is absolutely insane with her only being a plus 20 signature item. There we go, 7 million and 8 million respectively. So 7 million damage from Gwen. Again, doing a ton of damage, which is absolutely awesome. 25-44, so our next boss stage. Again, we're staying with, or we're swapping out Gwen in this one. Um, a lot of these campaign stages, I edit out the defeats. Some of them take a long time to get through. So we did go ahead and edit out some of the defeats. We ran Estrilda and Gwen through quite a few stages in here where we needed more damage, swapping out um, Belinda for a couple stages, but overall this is going to be really close. I'm hoping that we can get rid of a shield, which we do, to go ahead and finish this campaign stage for the boss. 10 million damage, 2544 done, 2548, which is Athalia. Athalia is very, very tough, and Sylvana, it's a very tough combination, as you can see. Athalia just absolutely diamond dominated um, Lucius. The heroes are nice and stacked up, but a majority of the time when she ults, both Rose and Belinda can't really do much against her because she does an insane amount of damage. Sylvana here is actually going right on Rowan while we have Athalia on Falks on the top. As you can see there, Athalia is just absolutely destroying Falks as well which it looks like Lucius survived a little bit more, but as soon as Athalia just starts absolutely destroying him, as you can see, even there we had them all kind of stacked up. Athalia took off with her alt, Tally Tassie um, teleported. So very, very tough stage. And again, folks cannot hold anything against Athalia. And he's really the only primary hero we have to defend against her because of his dodge. 
If you put Rose there, usually she dies in a hit. If you put a Belinda there, she usually dies in a hit. We could swap Rowan up top, which I'll go ahead and I'll give it a try. But overall, as long as we can get some good dodges, which we did right there, got a couple good dodges off the bat, but again, got absolutely destroyed with the top. Even though Rowan had a triple stun there, which was nice. Got Silvana down. And there we had actually a um, Banish on Belinda, which saved her life from Athalia. We might be able to get this one down. It's going to be close, but we're not going to be able to. Once they get onto um, Belinda, especially with Nehru, absolutely destroyed there. All right, so let's try a couple more times. We'll try a couple more team comps again right there. Athelia just absolutely deletes Falks if he does not dodge. So kind of crazy. If we get Grez down pretty easy, we just have to focus down the damage. All right. So we tried it quite a few times, about 30 times. I know I added out a lot of the defeat footage, but we'll go ahead and we'll collect up all of our gems. Very, very cool to have. At this point, seven Ascended Heroes focusing on the next one. Not sure if it's going to be Thane, not sure if it's going to be Cecilia, Oscar, depending on the copies that we pick. So let me know in the comments who you think we should go for the Lightbearer team next. And as always, thank you guys for watching.